In this episode, I share with you my plans to reimage the rivers of America. I think you're going to like what I did with the place. Do you have any idea which park I'm talking about when I mention the Rivers of America? Die-hard Disney fans might, but if you've ever been to Magic Kingdom, chances are you've passed by it more than once. It's a big river that stretches from Haunted Mansion past Liberty Square and curves around into frontier land past Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Along the river, you can board the Liberty Bell Riverboat, and in the center, is Tom Sawyer Island. The Liberty Bell is a reproduction of actual riverboats that traveled the R Mississippi River. It's an actual steam engine and takes you on a 17 minute voyage around the rivers of America on a trip back in time to the American frontier. It's neat, but on my last trip I realized something. It's taking up valuable property for an attraction that most people visit once. No offense, Lady Liberty, but you're kind of a one and done attraction. And I think it might be time to go. Which brings me to my re-imaging plan. Don't worry, Liberty Bell fans. She still stays in the picture. The first thing that I would do is drain the rivers of America. I would section off a portion of the river in order to place the Liberty Bell in that portion in case she would ever need to move to go to dry dock but it would remain stationary as a new quick service restaurant, still called the Liberty Bell. It could also be positioned at the original boarding location because that's a beautiful area, but I've got plans to fill in the rest of the river. So if she parks there, there she stays. The quick service location would have salads, seafood, something other than nuggets and burgers. The upper level would be used for some tables and chairs and a nice area to dine and overlook Liberty Square. There will also be seating on the ground level for guests who either choose not to or may not be able to go to the upper level of Liberty Bell. Tom Sawyer Island would get a reboot too. It's a neat place, but we need an attraction or set of attractions that could absorb a lot of people. On the island, you will be able to find the new table service restaurant Tiana's Place. I got the chance to visit the restaurant of the same name aboard the Disney Wonder, and I loved it. The live music, beignets, and Princess Tiana herself? What more could you ask for? Nearby, there should be at least room for two more attractions. I'm not an engineer or an architect, so I'm not 100% sure how much we can fit there, but let's go with two. The trouble is this area kind of fits in between Liberty Square and Frontierland. So which one is it? It's hard to figure out what you could theme it to or which one it should go with being in the center. So I've come up with a new land. We're gonna call it Wonderland. <laughs> So we have Tiana's place with the wonder of a dream and with a name called Wonderland. What else could we put there but something Alice themed, right? Alice has the wonder of curiosity and this all heights attraction will leave guests curiouser and curiouser as three possible ride paths are randomly chosen and each path has multiple storylines as well. One path will lead you down the rabbit hole where you will shrink and enlarge just like Alice. Her tears will even fill the room, washing you into another part of the journey. A second path will lead you through a very wicked game of croquet. Oh no, are you the croquet ball? Finally, a third path takes you through the looking glass to flower-filled gardens, a wacky chess game, and an encounter with a jabberwocky. Rewrite ability is an A plus for this attraction. Finally, how about adding a roller coaster adventure for Rapunzel, who dreams of seeing the floating lanterns? In this partially indoor, partially outdoor attraction, we will begin inside with Rapunzel trapped in her tower, longing to see the lights. As we climb towards her window, we plunge outside in her escape.
through the forest and snugly duckling, barely escaping the clutches of Mother Gothel. We finally return inside to witness the floating lanterns that surround us. I could probably go on in Wonderland, but without an engineer or an architect to kind of guide me along this path, I'm not really sure how much room we have left. If you had the chance to re-image the rivers of America, what would you add? I hope you enjoyed how I unlocked my imagination in this episode. Until next time, go out and find your magic. Bye-bye.